Oh boy, you guys. I am calling today Mistake Saturday because I've made a lot of mistakes and I've been annoyed. That was weird. I just had a deja vu moment. Um, anyway, uh, so I went to the Pantheon this morning because I missed it yesterday and today is the last day of my museum pass. So I so I went there and uh, I bought the audio guide for three euros and it was stupid and I shouldn't have done it. It was not very good audio guide and honestly I spent way too much time there. Um, it wasn't that exciting. Like the building itself is really cool and of course the artwork upstairs is really cool. But honestly, most people go there to just see whoever, whichever dead person they want to see. And so I went and I saw my favorite dead people, which were three authors all in the same room. I could have been in, in, a, in and out of there in like a half an hour. So it was a waste of time. And then uh, I realized that it was pretty late. Um, and so I still had two museums to do today, which is the Orsay and the Orangery. And uh, so I get to the Orsay and I get in there and I had downloaded my Rick Steves audio guide last night. Well, apparently it didn't finish or there was an error or some problem with Wi-Fi. Welcome to my life. And so it didn't download and there was no Wi-Fi in the Orsay. So I didn't know what to do. And then I just, I left because I really want to listen to this audio guide. Because unlike the crappy one I used at the Parthenon, this one's actually, his are actually really good. So I... I have the Orsay and I literally just started walking around the streets of Paris looking for free Wi-Fi and I I did I found a couple that did not work and then I finally just uh, found a spot right here and um, I paid five dollars or five euros for internet for a day I don't even know who I'm connected to but thank you for letting me have internet because this has been really stressful and now my battery is really really low so I'm gonna have to charge it but at least I will have my Rick Steves audio guide. Um, so since it is so late, it is 2.30 uh, here. I am going to just do the Orsay today and I will have to pay for the Orgerie. So uh, that's okay. I mean, I definitely got really good use out of my Paris Pass. I am planning on uh, going through and making sure, or going through and writing down all the things I did and making sure that it was the right decision to buy it. Uh, based on how much I would have spent so we'll see how that turns out and uh, I would not recommend doing what I did which was the six day one because they you have to do consecutive days and that really sucks uh, if they made it so that you could split it up they would make bank but um, so what I would do if I were going to do it again I would do two of them and do like a three day early in the trip and a three day later in the trip or something like that but um yeah it wasn't it was too much to do all of this so like that's why every day has been so packed so far um so hopefully things will calm down the next couple of days because uh I need sleep especially now because I have a sore throat and I've had it since yesterday which sucks um that's really all I need and I got the worst like cough drops ever at the pharmacy like I can barely have them in my mouth for like a minute like they help but oh my gosh they're the worst tasting things in my life so bad um but I had some tea while I was at Orsay because you know I figured oh there's a cafe in here all cafes have wi-fi right they don't so I, I did get some tea though which was good I needed some tea to soothe my throat um so yeah, now I'm just waiting for that to finish downloading, giving you guys an update. Uh, as for yesterday, <coughs> while I'm here, um, the first thing I did yesterday was Notre Dame Cathedral, and uh, it was amazing. I forgot to uh, go up to the towers, because you can go into the cathedral for free, but uh, I forgot to go up into the towers. And um, that's not free, and that also was one thing that I could do with my pass. 
But it's kind of good because like, I was so dead tired after the extremely long walking tour that uh, Rick Steves took me on yesterday. Like I would have been so dead if, uh, if I had climbed all the way up there. Maybe I'll try and make it up there another day, but oh my gosh, I just was not prepared to climb those stairs yesterday, so it's fine. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. Like pictures don't do it just justice. Um, I was a little bit frustrated when I got inside because I love the outside. Like the exterior is absolutely insanely gorgeous. I was a bit I'm not disappointed inside, but like um, it just felt very irreverent. I guess is the word I want to use. Kind of how I feel about mega churches. Like it's not so much about God; it's about putting on a show. And I mean. I understand why they run things the way they do. It's a very famous church and everybody wants to see it. And uh, so I just wish, I just wish the tourists respected it more, I guess, or understood that it was still a church, even though it's a tourist attraction. Um, and it's still used as a church. And, you know, there were lots of signs telling everybody that to be quiet, you know, and they weren't. And there were signs in specific places that said to um this area is only for prayer and they went in there anyway and it's just very frustrating for me I was trying to you know give it the respect it deserved and I was just frustrated and um I mean and they had like it's just weird to walk into a church and have them selling an audio gag you know what I mean it's bizarre to me but um, I get why they do it. Who wouldn't want all that revenue? I mean, any church would, but at the same time, I don't know. It just, it just felt kind of wrong inside. It was beautiful inside. Um, I, I really wanted to get a good picture of uh, the Pieta, uh, the altarpiece, and you can't because it, you are so far away. Um, the visitor area is very far away and you can't get up there and I was frustrated. Um, and I was looking to see if there was a, a, like a special tour that I could buy to go and where you can get close to the Pieta and I couldn't find anything on the internet so I just am kind of calling that a wash. Um, I am going to maybe try and make it back to do the, the walk up to the top if I'm feeling particularly uh, energized that day. So, oh my gosh, my throat hurts. I want more tea and I hate tea but I just felt good uh, and I want ice cream but ice cream is bad for sore throats dang it anyway what was I saying so Notre Dame that was the first thing I did um so I yesterday I did the Rick Steves uh, historic Paris walking tour and it was awesome because he took me to a lot of places that I probably wouldn't have seen otherwise they weren't on my list but I, I followed his instructions and I went there so uh, Notre Dame was first and then we went to the it was like a it was a very very small museum of deportation I think and um, it was about the French who were deported during World War II to uh, Germany and it was small but it was really interesting and um, oh, what else did we do then we then he led me over to uh, uh, walking to, through a uh, a district through the Latin Quarter and then Shakespeare and Company which books I love books um, so I bought oh before I get to Shakespeare and Company along the Seine we walked oh, we walked along the Seine and that's where all the like booksellers and the art sellers are and I bought my second book uh, souvenir book which is Harry Potter the first Harry Potter in French so that, that's kind of my goal for every country I go to, is to buy a book from in their native language um, and then buy a Harry Potter book in that language. So uh, I really just want a Harry Potter bookshelf one day that's literally nothing but versions of Harry Potter books. It's fine. I know I'm crazy. Um, but anyway, so back to Shakespeare and Company. It was awesome and there was a cat and I pet it and it made me miss my cat. <laughs> But shout out to Liz because Liz is the best house slash cat sitter ever because she sent me pictures of my baby um, and she's taking good care of him and she also FedExed me a package 
which had um, my socks, my new credit card, and um, my wristband for my uh, Fitbit. So thank you, Liz. You're the best. And so Shakespeare and Company, I bought one more book because it's Shakespeare and Company. I was going to buy a book from Shakespeare and Company, okay? Don't judge me. But uh, since it's like right across the street from Notre Dame, and I'm in France, obviously I went with uh, Victor Hugo, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So uh, I, I will take pictures of those when I get back to my hostel tonight and put them in my stories. But um, So th I have my three books, and that's that should be all the books I'm getting. I'm not going to make any promises. But uh, yeah, so I bought the Phantom of the Opera in French at the Opera House. I bought Harry Potter in French, and I bought uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame in English at, the Sh at Shakespeare Company. So that was exciting for me. And after that, where did we go? Uh, we went to Saint-Chapelle. And I really didn't know much about Saint-Chapelle. It's just a church, you know? You know, Paris has a million of them. So does New York. And this one was really interesting because it was built specifically to hold the crown of thorns, Jesus' crown of thorns. Um, I want to say it was Louis the IX. Don't quote me on that. I think it was Louis the Ninth. He bought them from like constant. He bought the crown of thorns from Constantine's mother, and he uh, paid more for the crown of thorns, three times more for the crown of thorns than he did for um, building this church to house it in. And uh, it's not there anymore. It is now part of the Notre Dame treasury, and I guess they only bring it out two days a year, Easter and Christmas. Um, so, whether or not you believe that's real is up to you, but uh, still, kind of, still kind of cool. But uh, Saint-Chapelle was like a huge surprise for me. It was the first place I walked into in Paris and just been like, wow. Like I literally said wow when I walked in and I got goosebumps immediately. Uh, you'll understand when you see my pictures. I didn't finish updating for yesterday. Uh, but the stained glass windows, are out of this world phenomenal like so absolutely gorgeous the church itself is pretty plain but like the stained glass is oh my gosh and uh so that was beautiful and then uh rick steve led me to the concierge which was like the i don't know what to call it dungeon jail or whatever where the uh, French revolutionists held their prisoners, so Marie Antoinette was held there for uh, a long time, and it was like the last place that they went before they were guillotined, and uh, so that was interesting. I wasn't planning on that, but uh, it was a cool part of the, the walk, and um, what else did I do last night? Get the pan pan, which I did this morning, and then uh, oh, I went and ate at a restaurant in a cafe, and I was sitting next to some smokers, and I had, like I said, I had forgotten to bring water yesterday, which I think is why my throat is super sore today. Uh, those smokers like were killing me at, at lunch yesterday, and um, it was also really rainy, which I love the rain and the thunderstorm, but that probably didn't help my situation. So I'm going to try and stay out of the rain. The weather is beautiful today, though. Um, and I bought a new fan when I was at the Parth... No, not the Parthenon, Holly. The Pantheon. And it was 9 euros, that it, so it better be freaking awesome. Like, seriously. But, um... So... <sighs> What else? So last night I went up to uh, Montparnasse Tower uh, to the 56th floor, which is the observation deck, and then up to the top, which is the 59th floor, and uh, got some really cool views of Paris during sunset. I tried to take some pictures. This was the only time that I, since I've been here that I've wished for a better camera. Every picture you've seen so far has all been on my phone. Samsung Galaxy S7. So... You guys don't need a fancy camera in order to get good photos. You just need creativity and, I don't know, 
creativity. I'm, I can't think of anything else. You need something. And anyway, that was the only time I wish I had a better camera though. Uh, but the Eiffel Tower looked awesome from there and I didn't get like the greatest sunset pictures as I wanted because it was really rainy, like I said yesterday. So uh, it was mo mostly just dark clouds covering the sunset. <laughs> oh well. Um, I am planning on going back to the Eiffel Tower though before I leave uh, to get some pictures of it at night. So uh, from where I was before, but at night. Um, so this is a really long video. I'm sorry it's so long, but I needed to get you caught up on stuff. So thanks for listening and uh, hopefully my throat will feel better soon and hopefully this is done downloading as soon as I get off this filming this video. And I, I saw a chocolate shop right next door to here that I really want to check out. Uh, it looks legit. So I'm probably going to do that too. Hit that after I leave the Orsay. So I'm off to the Orsay. I'm going to not do the orangerie today and I'm going to get back early to my hostel and update, 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 and then crash hardcore. I'm very excited about that. Oh, I was also really mad because, you know, I told you Liz sent my socks. Like, I know that sounds weird. Like, you didn't bring any socks? Well, I ordered these socks special. They're like fancy wool socks and they're 15 bucks a pair. And so I only bought three and I was like, I'll wash them. I'll just wa like hand wash them in the sink between times wearing them. Well, this morning I could not find my other pairs. There was one sock and I couldn't find my other pair and a half. I wore one yesterday. I couldn't find the other pair and a half socks. And I literally took everything out of my like locker box and it wasn't in there. I pulled out all of my bedding in my bed I pulled out all of all our locker boxes I pulled them all out to make sure it didn't like get stuck behind the boxes and go back under the bed nothing and I'm gonna be so upset if they're lost because like I said I just spent $45 on socks and I lost a pair and a half are you kidding me I'm gonna be so mad so hopefully I find them pray that I find them because I know it seems silly to like be so concerned about socks as Shucky reminded me over and over that I was freaking out for nothing but the really good socks and they made my feet really comfy yesterday so I don't want to lose them <sighs> okay I'm sorry this was so long I will talk to you guys later and let you know how the uh, Orsay was and that will be the end of day six and the end of my museum pass thank goodness so talk to you guys later bye bye I mean, au revoir.